Babe. Um, everything that I just texted about or been texting about today um, repulses me. With Jacqueline, I feel more pity. Um, except, um, you know, her body image is issues. Like, okay, that's understandable. So very many women have that. Um, but over the years, I've heard her compare herself to her young children who seem to be kind of have that poppy build, like slim, taken after their fathers. Uh, Clint used to be really skinny. So that seems to be the way they're built. Um, you know, at age five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, like God knows what puberty is going to, you know, change them possibly or whatever. But like anyway, I'm not talking about their looks, but the sickness of my sister um, objectifying her daughters and comparing herself to them, like saying shit like, Emma's got those lean arms, like they're toned from gymnastics and I always had thick, heavy arms, like, you know, I could never achieve arms like that, like that kind of thing, right in front of her. And then on top of that, like losing her temper a lot and screaming at them. I mean, I'm, I can't even imagine how hard it is to have f four kids, but she had four kids. Um, if she found that it, uh, one or two kids that she was having a hard time handling it, uh, I would go no further. Like I have gone no further because I know my limits and, um, then it was older when I got started, but Possibly there might have been a time when I would have gone for another run, but I think I would have talked myself out of it because it's anyway. Um, so I I have I have more sympathy for her than Caroline, despite those things because um, she's not as like this power force the way Caroline is like. Um, you know, she just, she wants to be upper middle class and she's got some bitterness that, that has not been achieved. Um, but, and she's got a hell of a burden with her husband now. And I think all along she never really knew if he loved her. And, but she loves her kids. She's fucked up with them, but she, I know she loves them. And she works a lot. It just, I don't know. There's something... If I had to spend like a couple of days with her, I'd probably be ha hating her beyond belief. But anyway, um, to make this a mini blog, to maintain a mini blog, dumb. <laughs> this Carol Ann, this tiny Asian shit, chick shit. It's so typical. And the creepy thing is, um, it's repeated. Like earlier in the text thread, she mentions it, and before we are in our not speaking to each other, she mentioned it to me. It's like, it's like this repetition thing. Like, she's got to pound the point in that, I mean, maybe it's humor to her, like, oh my god, like, this tiny woman can, like, you know, be incredibly strong. I mean, I, I could see seeing the humor of that, like, you think you'd ex expect only a big man could make you feel that way, but let me Asian. It's going to be a tiny Asian chick. Um, tiny Asian chick. Shut the fuck up. She keeps saying it. Um, oh, yes, yeah, so now I haven't heard from her, and she has not heard from me. So I was talking with Paul on the phone today. Sorry. At work. Because I was having a hard time earlier today and he was checking in with me. But uh, that's like a PMS thing. I wanted to hit Poppy. I actually almost hit Poppy. Um, that's another side story. I didn't hit her. Um, but let's see, let's see. Um, he calls me. We're chatting. And 
um, I was like, so is Caroline back in the office? Because she's been having procedures and like treatment on her wrist and stuff. And he was like, yeah, she's she was back a couple of days ago. And I was like, has she uh, hounded you? And he said, um, no, I wouldn't call it hounding. I was like, has she spoken to you? And he's like, yeah. And um, I feel like it was two, this was divided over two days. Um, no, I don't even remember what he said. Um, I don't remember. It was like, it wasn't like, is Allison okay? Because he, she had asked that earlier when it was like, she's not returning my calls and texts, calls and texts that didn't exist. Um, just something like, I haven't heard from Allison. Um, and Paul was just like, yeah, mm, uh-huh, yep, <laughs> which is all I want him to do. And, um, luckily he's a, not a gossipy man, um, a chatty man, and conversational. <laughs> I just hear fucking chicken screaming that I fed them. Oh, Poppy's going running. She thinks it's a, it might be the victory song. It, it probably is. Um... Anyway, she she reached out to Paul, uh, not in a terribly pushy or like you know over the top way, but she's like putting feelers out, and I think that what she said today or the other day was something like I haven't heard from her. Oh, I remember one day this week it was like I haven't heard from her, and he was like yeah, mumble mumble, and then today she was like I saw him and she's like I guess I really messed up. It's a birthday thing. And he was like, um, yeah, mumble, mumble. And I had to contemplate that. I'm like, is this really about the birthday? I'm like, no. And I said to him, I was like, I was like, did she, um, I knew what the answer was, but I was like, did she engage in any, um, self-examination and, um, inquire about why or what she may have done to upset me? And he was like, oh, no, no, no. And I'm like, well, she thinks that I'm upset that I didn't bow down and worship me on her birthday, that she had this other event on my birthday. And I think she thinks that's what I'm mad at, and that I'm mad at Beast um, for creating this thing on my birthday. And what I'm really mad at, well, if, I, if it turned out that Beast actually arranged it to be my birthday and knew it was my birthday, yeah, it's fucked up. But I'm like really not dwelling on Beast. I just, the lie. There's a lie. We talked about this. There's a lie. She lied at some point. And, um, as my therapist says, like, she manipulates you. She gets what she wants. Um, she buys you off with money when she's feeling bad, guilty. Um, or to get you to do stuff and go to set your boundaries. And I'm like, but how long do I set my boundaries? Um, how long? forever I kind of feel like I never want to talk to her again like I still feel that way but that's um that's unrealistic I mean she's a family member I just I don't know how this is going to resolve it's not going to resolve with her being truthful or deep, or like, please reaching out, please explain, please explain yourself. Like, is this about your birthday? It seems like it's about something more. Like, I, I are you really that upset about your birthday? And then I could be like, well, tip of the iceberg, I'm upset that I could feel that you lied to me at some point. Like, and um, we could go deeper than that. Um, uh, about a pattern that's existed for many years and a pattern of betrayal that goes back many years. Um, you know, but just for now, uh, you lied to me. Um, you did know about this gala and that's why you were acting really squirrely 
with me um, about things and so um, that's it and I hope this wasn't too blah a vlog um, because I got unfocused um, uh, the, the kindest regards to you and uh, Lauren okay